Welcome to another episode of the Clove to Ascendant series, a series where I try to reach Ascendant by only playing with Clove and give you guys a lot of tips and tricks. Last episode we got placed in Platinum 3, but as I explained, the MMR of this account is very high. Each game I'm playing with a lot of Ascendant people and that's my real rank, so no low elo smurfing on this channel. And let's try to get a diamond rank today. Let's hop into the first game. Hello everyone. Let's start this video with talking about team comms. If you play Clove and you notice that you have another smoker in your team, it's so important that you communicate together where each one is gonna smoke. In the first round we already Already made a mistake and we both smoked market. Not very optimal. He's on the right, on the right. So many smokes and still we get... Oh. Okay, okay, Mr. Lowlander, yeah, there were a lot of smokes. But to be honest, what is this smoke over here? A tippy for every one of you. Instead of smoking CT, smoke a little closer here on the edge, for example. Because CT is so deep, it doesn't matter if enemies are there if you are pushing B. Let's go to the first gun round now. Me and Omen did the same thing. <laughs> Yes everyone, communication is a very important thing if you play two controllers. Also, this is a very unlucky death. No. Oh! Let's go to the sixth round now because I didn't got any kills in between until this one. Oh, oh. Now let me give you an important tip. As we all know, you should always try to work together with your teammates. So in this round, when I saw my teammate Race was fighting against an enemy in A main, I of course tried to get to Race to help her out. But then this happened. Wait, Wait I'm gonna help you Race. Race died, so what should I be doing right now? Exactly, go back to my team and don't go for a 1v1 battle. Well, I hit myself. In the end, I luckily got the kill, but this is like the definition of going in one by one. So what can we learn from this round? Sometimes you have to adapt your game plan mid-round when a teammate dies, for example. Let's move on. First of all, ignore that me and Omen were both smoking mid again. Whoopsie. Second of all, here's a very nice way for a split B push. One smoke in middle, one smoke to the right side of market. Then two B main, three mid and easy side for you. Not behind us, uh. Oh no, 2v1, stress, stress, stress. Honestly, in 2v1 situations, a lot of people would stress. But don't do that, my friends. Stay calm, make a game plan. In this round, the spike was already planted. So the only thing I had to do was play time and then win the round. One enemy remaining. That's three. <gasps> Not ready yet. Okay. <laughs> I think I got it, I think I got it. Clutch. Yeah, look at that, look at that. Playtime, that's the way to win the game, right? When you use the Clove Ultimate, you have 12 seconds to kill an enemy to stay alive. It sounds like a lot, but in reality, it's not that long. So when you use the Ultimate, don't hesitate too long with pushing. Otherwise, you'll be too late and you don't get the kill. I need the kill. I need someone. Ah, ah yeah, okay. I, I completely forgot. I was playing too slow. But all good. Second half. Never do this. Last player standing. Oh my god. I almost messed that up. I don't know why, but my brain turned off a little bit in the second half of the game. I don't have to tell you that you shouldn't be peeking mid like this, but sometimes bad plays get rewarded. But do they have a marshal? I can peek marshal. Now let's talk about the post plant on the defender side. In the last video, I've read this comment. This guy explained that in the post plant, you should smoke the spike to defuse the spike and not main. I think this is an interesting topic, so let's talk about it. This comment referred to this round over here. In my opinion, if you know where the last enemies are, for example in this round in A main on Breeze, then it's better to smoke A main so you get more control over the side. And if the enemy is pushing through, you can easily kill him. Okay. However, if you're not sure where all the enemies are, then it's a little bit better to smoke the spike and then go for either a ninja defuse or hope the enemies are pushing in and get some easy kills. And that's not what I was doing in this round. Whoopsie. I should have smoked the spike. Last player standing. Fit. Because I didn't smoke the spike over here, I gave the enemies too much control over sight and that's how I died. But let me know what you think. You prefer smoking main or prefer smoke the spike? Anyway, here's a nice Tesla Sheriff shot. Okay. Take your time, aim for the head. That's how you should shoot with the shadow. Also, something I personally need to work on. What? Oh, I didn't expect him on top. Okay, there's one on side and two in elbow. It's the fact that I still can use my abilities after I die. It's such an unusual mechanic, you know. I could have easily helped my teammate over there. Oh, yo, 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 yo. I had my smoke. I had my smoke. Why didn't I help my teammate? I don't know why you didn't help your teammate, Mr. Lowlander, but that's what I'm trying to tell you. It's like you're not listening to me. Anyway, when you got your Clove ultimate ready, there's nothing wrong with playing a bit more aggressive. You can kind of use it like a Phoenix ultimate, only then you can press X after you die, instead of before going in. The only mistake that I made over here is that I didn't throw my Q ability. But in the end, it didn't really matter, luckily. Play a bit more aggressive, but this may be too aggressive. Ah, maybe not. Does my gun reload? Yes, it does. That's great. 
Yes, let's go. So apparently your gun automatically reloads when you use your ultimate. That's a very useful fact to know. I didn't know that. But sadly, in the end, it didn't matter because we lost the game. Only minus 11. Let's go to the next one. Hello, everyone. Okay, on Breeze, if you're retaking B, that corner on the left is way deeper than most people think. So make sure you peek enough. Otherwise, you might get killed by a sneaky rat. On this corner, right? Oh, there is. I, I did not. Anyway, let's skip a few rounds because bam, 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 bam. Not a great start. But luckily, even though I die on stupid ways, I still can use my smokes in the post plant. Again, in this situation, I think it's better to smoke main instead of the spike. This way, we keep the control over sight and easy win. Now a tippy for when you play on the defender side. When you play clove, I would recommend to play somewhere around middle. The reason for this is that if you play around middle, you'll be able to smoke A side and B side. A bit like I did in this round. On the other hand, if you don't play around middle and you're holding A, then your smoke will be out of range if the enemies are pushing B. So playing around mid gives you a bit more flexibility. Now take a look at this. It's very dangerous to peek hull deep like I did over there, but I guess it worked out. Oh, okay, we got one more. Also, sometimes you gotta troll your enemies, right? Sorry, Gecko. <laughs> I have no idea how this is ascendant. Anyway, second half. When entering A, I would recommend to smoke the middle of the pyramids and a little bit on the left to smoke off the doors. By doing this, you create just enough control over the side to enter and you only really have to pay attention to the right side of all the pyramids. I know exactly where. But as you see in this round, I was a bit too late to walk back to A main. Sadly, the clove smokes aren't that long. And then I got trapped by my teammate Deadlock. Not ideal, do I win this two versus one? <laughs> One enemy Target remaining. Down. My ult is ready. Dude. Nice try. <laughs> what the sorry, fuck was that? <laughs> whoa, 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 wait, Mr. Lowlander. Did you see that? I could press X in this situation. I honestly didn't know that. Apparently, in a 1v1, if the spike is planted, you still can use the clove ultimate. And maybe if I did that, I could have won the round. My bad, I guess. Because we lost the round, we went eco next round. And the thing you might hear a lot in eco rounds is that you should always save your ultimate. This statement is kinda true, but not always. If you think you can win an eco round because you already got some kills or you got control over the side, then there's nothing wrong with trying and you can use your ultimate anyway. So in this round, since we got control, over B and we already got an early kill. I use my ult anyway and try to get kills with the ghost. Something I did well over here is not rushing towards the Vandal. A lot of people would do that. Also the old Mr. Lowlander. But I learned from my mistakes. One enemy remaining. From the behind. And now the only thing you gotta do is play time and win the round. Can Mr. Lowlander clutch this 1v1? Ah, it worked out. We won the game. Uh, round. The round after that, I did a smoke strategy on A again. But in this round, it's a bit more clear how good these smokes are. Very nice to enter with. And again, same smoke, same strategy. This combo is very OP on Breeze. The only mistake that I'm making is that I'm always peeking the right side of Pyramid. I would not recommend to do that, but I guess I felt confident in this game. In the end, we managed to get to overtime 14 to 13. And then this happened. What are you doing over there? Whoa! Just seen him. Hi, right here. Last player standing. One ah. enemy remaining. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, I got my ult. Like I, I can ult after the. I didn't know I could ult after that. If I only want a life and the spike is still. Oh my god. This was the point when I realized that I could use my ultimate. My bad. And uh, minus 11. Oh, no worries. Hello, everyone. Another day, another warm up against Leffers. I can't be the only one that's trying to warm up against Valorant objects. I hit him. Oh, whew. my aim. Oh my god. We got him. That's what counts. If you got a cypher in your team, always pay attention to where that cypher is placing his tripwires. In this round, my teammate placed the tripwire on A main, so I tried to play around it. But I made a mistake. Can you spot it? Hi. One one ah. one exactly, instead of peeking so wide, I should have just wallbanged through the box. In the next round, I managed to get into a 2 versus 1 situation. In 2 versus 1s, it's so important that you have map awareness. And in this round, I noticed that Sofa was in middle. And earlier, my teammate got killed by Killjoy in B main. This meant that Sofa would be on site way earlier than Killjoy. So in rounds like this one, it's important to don't hesitate and just push quickly and force the 1v1 battle. One enemy Five. remaining. 
Ooh, 1v1, spooky, what do you do now? Well, at this point, I had no idea where KJ was. So I was afraid to push out to a big spot. Instead, I decided to hide and let her come to me. Hey yo, let's go. Oh my god, my hands are sweaty. A few rounds later, something funny happened. Jet just randomly dropped her weapon to me. And I wasn't exactly sure why. I thought maybe it was because she wanted to use her ultimate, but then suddenly she bought a guardian. What? Why would you drop a vandal and buy a guardian, right? This makes no sense. Until later that round, because then this happened. Did you pay attention to that? The reason why Jet bought the Guardian was to shoot the KJ ultimate through the thick wall. The Guardian is one of the only weapons that can shoot through the wall, like the Odin, Ares and Operator. And I think that was actually a big brain play. Sometimes you try to smoke off the enemies, but then you get smoked off. Like over there, I smoked B main and they smoked spawn. If this happens to you, you could decide to push through if you feel aggressive. But when you do, make sure to first throw your Q ability. Not sure why. Wow. Okay, good. Oh, good. That was the plan, right? I got my ult anyway. <gasps> no! Sadly, inside the Glove oh, ultimate, position. you have to make a kill. So I had to push over here. Normally, I would not recommend to do that. They both left? I think they are. And sadly, I failed because it was just a bad push. Let's go to the second half now. For every controller main, this should be obvious. Putting in at least one smoke at three is so important. If you have nobody lurking through mid, of course. So that's what I did. Close the lever, the easy side for us. Sitting. Okay, take your time. Aim for the head. That's how you get them. And now let's keep a long story short. In the second half, I got some sneaky red kills. No way, you see my gun over there, right? Oh la la. And not too long later, we won the game. Let's see, we did not get the MVP and we got plus 27 RR. That's a lot. Okay, I have to admit something. The next game we played bind. Not a lot happened and we sadly lost the game. And each episode I tried to rank up. But I'm afraid that today I don't have the time to play more games. I actually went to the UK, to London last week. So this video is already a bit later than usual. But in the end, the goal of these videos is to teach you a lot about Valorant and Clove. And I got a feeling that we learned a lot of new mechanics in this episode. So in my opinion, it was a success. I hope I see you guys in the next one. And bye bye.